I've been thinking lately about just how amazingly and intricately each of us has been woven together and designed. I mean, it's just crazy. You think about the amount of resources and the kind of individual, unrepeatable variables that have come together to form who you are. It is incredible. And understanding, receiving, and taking responsibility for who we really are, is, it, I, I think it's one of the most important things that we can do in our whole lives. And so today, I'd like to discuss two valuable ways that you can uh, access who you really are. My name's Tom Griffith, and I'm with Greater Formation. I help people, particularly those people who are maybe confused or stuck a little bit in life or people who are in transition or about to head into transition. I help them get clear, get focused, and be fruitful. What we work on is a laying a foundation for the next season or decade or often for the rest of their lives. I help them see who they are, address it, and take bold steps into the future. I'm kind of like a football coach for your soul. Well, let me get back to the idea of accessing who you really are, understanding that. In some of my other videos I've described, I use the acronym of SHAPE. But today I want to focus in particularly on two of those letters, your personality and your experiences, because those are kind of what make you the most unique. In your personality, that summarizes how you relate to the world, how you... Uh, ingest and receive information, how you organize that information within you, how you present yourself to the world. Um, it defines how we express ourselves. That's our personality. Now, <clears throat> there are lots of inventories that can help you to do that. And I want to encourage you to take all the inventories that you can. That can be really helpful. Inventories such as DISC or Myers and Briggs, uh, Strengths Finder, Enneagram, all those are really valuable. But even then, on top of that, comes our kind of unique, our own idiosyncrasies that make us really who we are. Now, understanding that's important, but some people don't want to do that. Some people feel like to take the time to understand their personality is maybe navel-gazing or it's selfish or maybe it's self-indulgent. I want to say the exact opposite. I think it's one of the most important things we can do in life. And when we understand how we work, how we take things in, how we organize them, and when we learn to uh, uh, clarify how we present ourselves to the world, that's all part of maturing. It's part of what it means to mature in Christ. It's really important. So again, consider your personality. That's part of your uniqueness, but also are your life experiences. So when you think even with all the personality inventories, that gets down to a pretty unique picture of who you are. But then when you add your life experiences and how your personality interplays with each one of those experiences, now you have why you are so unique. And a way that I would encourage you to do that is to see your life. When I use the word see, I mean capital S, capital E, capital E. Those are your significant emotional experiences. And a good way to do that is to uh, divide your life into decades and then spend some time reflecting over each decade for the significant emotional experiences. Now, they might be high experiences or they might be low experiences. Either one, list them, circle them. You don't have to go into great depth at this point. What you want to do is just remember them, reflect on them a little bit as either a great high or a great low because those are often things that God uses to make us unique. And the more that we deal with those, the more that we actually have resolved those experiences, the more that we can integrate those into our lives, the more helpful they become. Then our personality mixed with our experiences become powerful and unique, as in fact you are. Can I ask you to consider doing those things, but also in response to this, which do you think uh, make a comment below. Which do you think are more important in your life? 
your personality or your experiences? Which one have played more of a role in your understanding of your own uniqueness? Um, if you'd like to learn more of how this fits into the overall uh, program that I have, you can go to my website at greaterformation.com and you can receive a free gift. The free gift is four key steps to uh, become fruitful. So it relates so much to what I'm saying now. So you can go there, greaterformation.com, get the free PDF and get on your way to getting more clear. That would be great.